Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless Humans. Welcome to episode 6 of our free course for Note 4. Make sure you subscribe for more free courses on different iPad apps. The highlighter tool is slightly different from the pen tool because you only get one type of it. But like your pen tool, you have five different thicknesses for it which you can easily customize. You can also choose a color for it at the bottom here. To understand how to customize this, we recommend you watch episode five because these options are similar to what you get with your pen tool. The highlighter has two different modes. The first one is the freehand one. How you highlight is how it appears. It tends to look untidy, but if that's the look you prefer, then you'll love it. For neater highlights, you want to go to your highlighter and turn on the draw straight line option. This makes sure all your highlighters are neat and straightened out, no matter how you draw them. Information is easier to digest when you highlight the important parts. The eraser tool has five fixed sizes. You can't adjust these to make them the sizes you want. That's why these are fixed sizes. You can choose what your eraser deletes by switching on and off all these options. Turning on whole line eraser lets you erase entire strokes. A stroke is all the inking drawn or written in a single stroke without lifting your Apple Pencil. Strokes vary in size. Some are small, while others are much bigger. This option, when turned on, will let you erase a stroke regardless of how big it is. When you want to erase smaller parts of a stroke, pixels at a time, simply turn it off. Noteful can erase your highlighter only. When you turn on the option to erase highlighter only. As you can see, my eraser is going over both handwritten notes and the highlighter, but it's only erasing the highlighter only. You can also choose whether or not to erase shapes by turning on the option to erase your shapes. So this lets you erase your handwritten notes as well as shapes. When you turn this option off, you can still erase your handwriting, but not your shapes. So in order to erase straightened out highlights, you need to turn on the option to erase the highlighter as well as shapes. To save time, you can choose to auto deselect the eraser. So the app automatically goes back to the tool you were using before the eraser without needing to manually do it. You can only use the eraser once. The moment you lift your Apple Pencil off your iPad screen, the tool changes back to whichever tool you were using before. Let's use the eraser with the option turned off. Your eraser tool doesn't change and you can keep erasing things on different pages. You're starting to write more meaningful notes, right? Let us know in the comment section down below. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on our next episodes as we continue exploring Noteful as well as digital note taking in general. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.